In the last video, I described pushing a configuration button down to configure the switches by assigning them to different loads. I couldn't find that the hand piece allows you to do that, pick through on a screen and say put switch one on load three, etc. Uh, what I didn't realize is that you can initiate that configuration process using the hand piece as well as the button on the switch. So I was half wrong about needing to push the button on these critters. I can put the system into that configuration mode that allows me to bind the loads to the switches by using the hand piece. That configuration mode is called push and learn or P&L. You have something different called plug and go and we'll discuss that later. But the deal is I don't have to push the button to put the system into push and learn. And push and learn will allow you to use push buttons on these components of the system to do different things. But load binding is the principal function of push and learn. There are many things you cannot do with push and learn. Okay, but we'll examine them for each of the push and learn functions on each of these components. But for right now, we're going to take this hand piece and we're going to put the system into push and learn operation. Now the system contains prior programming, including load binding of the switches. So switch one shuts off load one. There we see load one turned off. Here back on. This second switch turns load two on and off. There we see load two off. This third switch takes off load three. There we see load three off. And the fourth switch operates all the loads simultaneously. So see the loads are back on. Now I'm going to reassign the loads to these switches. This was just load one, we'll leave it that way. This was just load two, we'll make it one and two. Uh, this was just load three, we'll make it two and three. And then this one we'll just leave operating them all. Now turning on our hand piece, we see our home screen, sensor config, load config, PNL, it says. Right, we're going to configure the loads using push and learn because that's the only way to do it with these particular rocker switches. Just going to cover up a few of these IR sensors and I'm going to select load config. So pointing at my IR port on this switch, select load config, hit the button again, it talks and and I'm in the load configuration menu. So stop when you get there and you'll note that you're set on load one and then we have functions that we can alter for the load configuration for load one. But we're going to ignore all of those today because all we're doing is binding switches to loads. And to do this you must be in push and learn which is where we're here where we are now. It says load config PNL push and learn and we're going to have to hit buttons to bind these switches to loads. So just like hitting the configuration button on the switch. Now that we've entered load configuration mode, uh, we see load one and a set of options for that channel. Okay, this is a three channel controller, three load controller. We're looking at load one. We don't touch any of the menu options. We don't change any of those selections. We simply push the right buttons on the switches to get us where we want to be. So now that we've entered load configuration on the handpiece, and that's all we did was select it, load config PNL, all of the switches have a light, little red light flashing twice per second. You've got it on this aux sensor 
and there it is and uh, you also have it on the photo sensor we don't want to change anything in this menu we'll talk about that later we're just going to do what we did when we put these in push and learn mode previously uh, each one that has a blue light on it is going to be controlling the load by default it's turned on load one so that's fine for this uh, this one was going to do one and two so I'm going to hit its toggle and light it up uh, load three is off that's fine because it's not doing load one this one's showing that it's going to control everything that's just fine once I've used my push and learn to get the correct switches to control this load one I'm going to scroll down and I'm simply going to pick next now if I changed any options on this menu I'd have had to hit send if I wanted to associate this load with an aux sensor I would have had to hit bind but we don't hit anything we just tell it we want to go to the next load when we do that we get a load selection screen by default it's gone to the next one which is two but you can pick which load you want to go to next to configure we're just going to go to two so we point we push load one goes off load two goes on there we are now we're looking at the active load that we're going to be configuring this switch is just load one this one's our one and two so it's lit uh, this one is two and three now so I want it to control load two so I hit it bring the blue light on this one controls them all let's simply go down to next because we're not changing any of the menu items here and go to the next load load three fine and you'll see it has activated load three so you know which one it is and you're now going to bind it to the appropriate switches in this case we want one one and two two and three and all of them so we're there all I need to do now is scroll down to the bottom and hit exit and we're going to go out of push and learn mode and back into normal operating mode so all of the little red flashing lights have gone away uh, the funky indicator on here has gone away ready to roll so let's see if that worked shall we I'm going to bring all of these on all right and this one should just take off load one done deal this next switch should take off one and two they're off this next one should take off two and three and they're off and now this one should bring on one and two it did let's take those back off and this one should bring on two and three and it does so there you see assigning switches to loads and I'm gonna put it in official watt stopper terms by initiating push and learn mode PNL using the handset but that's all you're doing you're doing the same thing as pushing a little button at least when it comes to binding loads to switches we'll see how much flexibility you have with PNL in future videos